Hey, hey, what do you say we have a look at Action Jackson from Migos 2018 lineup? Target exclusive. Been sitting on this one for a while, shame on me. But uh, today's a good day to do it. It says this is number 437 of 10,000, whatever that means. If you keep the package, I guess it might mean something, but I don't. We throw it in the garbage. Nice 70s artwork. This is officially licensed detailed 8-inch character. Authentic retro packaging. Pose figure in any action position. Original Mego toy line and quality. Limited edition. Numbered and collectability. And numbered for collectability. Collect them all. It's interesting. <clears throat> collect them all. Usually they have a cross sell going on, you know. To show you what you should be collecting all of. But no, not this one. It says... It says, answer. What a no. Sorry, I'm reading the answer. Where did Migo get the name Action Jackson? From Bill Jackson, coach of the New York Knicks. What? Maybe when he was a player, but not when he was the coach of the Knicks. Because long before that, he was the coach of the Bulls, winning six championships. So, yeah, that should have been a little more outlined and it says in here his his bubbles his thought bubbles action jackson is my name bold adventure is my game see yeah so what do you say we crack this boy open and uh have a look all right there he is on his pedestal nice and actually his gun does fit in his hand quite snugly um I say that because when I reviewed the Mego 14-inch Batman, his battering would not fit in his hand whatsoever. Oh, it would fit. It just wouldn't hold it. It just fell right out. So the use of a battering in that particular figure was kind of pointless. But however, I digress. Let's have a look at Action Jackson. All right. So also want to point out real quick, that it looks to me like he's got real boots on. And that is typical of an Amigo figure. But why I point that out is the Jimi Hendrix figure that uh, is uh, new for 2018. Didn't have separate shoes on. It was pinned into the ankle. And we'll revisit that figure here in a couple moments. Let's have a look at Action Jackson. Paint looks really good, except for the sideburn is not all the way to the edge. His eyes look really good. Good tone on the, the lips there. His clothes are fantastic. And his decal is um actually feels like silk screen, so it's not a sticker. That's uh very flat, very nice. His belt is nice. Stitched up in the back there. Very cool. Uh, I believe that's elastic. That is elastic. And his gun fell out. I spoke too soon. But yeah. It looks like he has a one-piece jumpsuit on. And uh, some really white, bizarre combat boots is what they look like. Let's see if you can see that. Looks like an old G.I. Joe combat boot. Of course, G.I. Joe was 12-inch. So yeah, I'm going to have a look at his, ripped, his rippedness. There you go. Very cool. Quickly, let's do the articulation. He can do the owl. His uh, shoulders are fully mobile right there. He's got a single joint in the elbow, a hinge on the wrist, and will we rotate? And he should rotate, and it will rotate. But boy, is this snug. So be careful, folks, when you uh, open your figures, all right? Just uh, be careful. And let's see, we have a pivot in the waist. His leg will kick out to the side like so. Back like that. Forward like that. He has a single joint in the knee. And of course, he has a joint in the ankle. No pivot, of course. Let's have a look. And he stands very nice. Bonus. Let's have a look at his. I'm, I'm going to guess that's probably a Walther. I'm not sure. I'm not a big gun fanatic, so I really don't know. 
doesn't look like anything that I recognize like a 9mm or a 45 so maybe a 38 Walder I don't know anyway we can also see what kind of action poses we can get him in where he actually stands Stands like that. Let's see if we can get his body up, his head out, his hand kind of bent, and his maybe not without the use of a doll stand. Oh well. <clears throat> Let's get his gun back in his hand so he just got a tight grip there so kind of come in from the thumb force the thumb out like so and get it in there like that very cool very cool yeah so these are all Migo or Migo styled figures I was mistaken about the Jimi Hendrix's feet. I don't know why, because probably I do a lot of reviews, but they are separate feet and separate shoes. So we'll scratch what I said earlier. Uh, no, the Bride of Frankenstein is not a Mego figure. However, I wish it were. That is a Mego styled figure in the 8 inch line. However, I brought these guys so you could see that there is no separate foot. Maybe that's what I was thinking. But, you see, the entire leg and boot are one piece joined at the knee there. So, yeah. On both Star Trek figures are the same. Very cool figures, though. Pleased that the 8-inch figures are in stores of course, I'm not going to buy all of them. I buy what I like. You know, I've been trying to hunt down Dracula. And he's like Bigfoot. Almost impossible to find. And mirror, mirror, Spock's got a dagger in his hand. going to stab Kirk in the back. Nice. Anyway, that's been my look at the 2018 Mego Target Exclusive Action Jackson 8-inch figure with soft goods. Very cool. Holland Wolf out. <laughs>